parks, schools, restaurants, and more, Assembly Row gets high scores. We're at Thriving City with so much to do on Boston Harbor in our view. Politics, cannabis, controversial stories, heroes, villains, who gets the glory? 50 plus languages in Somerville is spoken. Sanctuary City, there are no free tokens. The history in Somerville stays alive. In all American city, we won three times. Somerville connects. Somerville connects. Welcome to another edition of Somerville Connects. Tonight we have the beautiful Rebecca McCabe. She is Director of Operations and Lead Instructor of Bar 9 at Assembly Row. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you. Glad to be here. So, Rebecca, I have really no idea <laughs> what Bar 9 is. I know it's a place where people move, stretch, Get fit because I'm looking at you and you look like you are just a perfect specimen of health. So do tell us. So bar nine, we bar is all about leaning, toning, sculpting, lightweight, high rep movements, um, but really low impact. A workout kind of designed for everyone, anyone, um, to you know just very easy to do. If you know we lead the class, um, easy to follow. It's all like group exercise so it's not like you're one-on-one -on -one usually unless that's something you'd like to participate in um, but we use weights of one two three pound three pounds so the highest weight you'll ever use is three pounds um, and a little bit of variety of equipment to keep your body guessing and muscles changing um, but pretty easy to follow it's not it's not you don't have to be a ballerina to do it or you don't have to have a rhythm or anything we guide you through the whole class and kind of like those high rep movements okay when I think about bar, I think about a ballerina holding on to a long bar that's connected to the wall. Yes. Is there something that's connected to that? Yeah, so we have a bar that you use, but more for balance. Um, you'll get kind of like that full body workout. So you'll get upper body, you won't use the bar for most of your upper body work, but you will use the bar for some of your lower body. But it's not like you're doing super high kicks or you're going all the way down and up, we give a variety of options for anybody. So you can do a full range of motion movement and travel all the way down, or you can keep it a little higher up if something bothers your body in any way. So what's nice is it can be tailored to like the veteran client or the newbie, the first time co person coming in who's never even worked out a day in their life. What if someone comes there and they say, I have problems with my knees or I don't have flexibility? Are you, um, are you well-versed that you can tell them how to move? Absolutely. That? Okay. So. so you don't have to have extensive flexibility. Um, we're actually great for people who have encountered knee injuries or shoulder injuries. A lot of the movements we do are kind of based on physical therapy, that orthopedic rehab. Um, and what's nice about Bar 9 in particular is we do bar classes, but we also offer mat-based classes. What, so, what does that mean? They're on the floor? So yeah, we do our lower body work, not just at the bar, but seated on the mat. So it takes mm -hmm. any kind of weight bearing off of your joints. So if somebody has difficulty standing for long periods of time, we have classes that would work for them so mm -hmm. that they're just using gravity. Mm -hmm. um, my background is actually, I'm a physical therapist. So oh, I, you, oh you're a physical. I am. So yes. you've got the edge. So you know how people should move. I do. So, oh, that's huge. So I took on this role. I do, um, the owner, Tanya, and myself, we do our training together. And I help with the training to instruct the girls so they know the safety in terms of movement, what muscles are being moved, and how to offer those modifications for somebody who might not be able to move in a certain way that we're guiding them through. By the way, this is huge <laughs> that you're a physical therapist because physical therapy, I've been to physical ther therapy, is like to me is the best way 
to get your body back where it has to be because they tell you what to do the safe way. Yep. And you get results. Yes. So you're incorporating that knowledge into people getting toned. This is huge. It's a really, they kind of work together. Hand they yeah, do. Hand it's in a hand. nice compliment. Um, we have a lot of people who will come from physical therapy and be like, oh, I did this in physical therapy. Um, so they kind of mimic one another. And the idea is to kind of work the muscles that aren't used day to day to prevent injury as well. So you might not come with any injuries, but a lot of times people go to the gym, they work those big dominant muscles. Right, right. And bar you're focusing on the smaller muscles that don't get work so you can protect those joints and don't develop any injuries. Okay, so here's an example. I've been going to the assembly uh, gym mm -hmm. and I've been going there for since March, April, and May. I lost 13 pounds, but I lost 19 inches. That's amazing. Which is huge. Yes. Now, I have a very small hernia. It's got to be taken care of. So I haven't been able to do anything that puts any impact on the hernia. But I'm dying, not dying, but I'm looking forward to doing something else because I get on the elliptical machine and I do the same thing. And I know that the body gets used to doing the same thing you're really kind of like just kind of stuck. Yeah. Am I right about that? Definitely. And I think being at a gym sometimes can be hard. It's like intimidating. You don't really know what to do. Right. And you kind of get stuck in that like, right. what do you do next? Right. So here's my question. For someone like myself, and there's a lot of people, they go to the gym and they get on the treadmill. They do the same thing. What should they be doing to get the maximum results for their body? What do you recommend them to do? I think everybody... Everybody's an individual kind of what works well, I like for their that. body. Yeah. Um, so what's actually, I would say like what we kind of recommend at the studio and why we do it this way. Um, we like to combine both strength training and that cardio element. So we'll mm. always kind of promote, it's good to balance everything out. So sure. with bar, you think like leaning and toning, of course, like you get that strength training, but you're going to stretch after your exercises. So I think stretching is an important component. Mm -hmm. um, but we have incorporated into a lot of our classes, a bit of a cardio element. And it's not just like jumping or kicking because that might not work for everybody, but also just like moving quick to get your heart rate up. So right. I think what's great for everybody is kind of create that well-rounded work out for them um, and in two of our locations we actually offer treadmill classes so oh you do so that we feel like that really complements it you get the cardio component whether it's in one of the classes that moves a little bit quicker mm -hmm. or on the treadmill so you get that sweat going um, and you complement it with the strength training I read many many years ago about people that breathe that breathing is so fundamental in keeping the body tone do you teach breathing? Is that what you incorporate with what you do? Because I really don't know. I think in 100% of our classes, you're always going to hear an instructor say, like, breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth, let your breath match your movement. Why is that? Why it is just the lets breath... you get, bring the oxygen into the muscles, um, and it kind of gives you that, like, focus. It centers you. Like, take that deep breath, inhale and exhale, and if you're twisting, when you take that deep breath, you can twist a little bit further. It kind of focuses you Really? On it. Yeah. So does the breathing help the muscles to get toned better? Or is it more for the relaxation? What does the breathing do? I think do? it lets, le allows you to get deeper into the muscle just by taking, like if you're really tense and you're holding your breath, your muscles are guarded. So when you release oh. that breath, you can really focus on getting deeper into the muscle. I mean, you always hear this when people are going through stress, like let's say someone, uh, they have a tragedy in their life, they start breathing very shallow. Yeah. So when people are working out in your class, they are breathing very deeply. They're taking deep breaths. We'll always encourage them to do that, yeah. Now, what time do you give classes? Do they start like at some ungodly time, like at <laughs> four in the morning? Or? Not four in the morning. Um, here at Assembly, we have 6 a.m. Um, and we kind of go through all the, out the day to kind of match when people would be able to work out. So mm -hmm. we have 6 a.m., we have that mid-morning 9.30 slot, that afternoon, like in the afternoon, we do a 45-minute 12, 10 class for 45 minutes because it's perfect for that lunch break. In assembly, you have so many, you can just walk easily. You have shops and so many people working around here. Um, so we do 45 minutes and then we kind of go through the evening around that 4.30 till seven o'clock range. And what would you tell folks to, you want to get them to the gym, what would you tell them? 
I mean, to bar nine. Yes. Because you said you have four locations, yes, correct? Yes, we have four locations. And where are the four locations? And tell us why we should come and participate in your classes. So our locations are Andover, Danvers, Woburn, and then Somerville was our fourth. Wow. Um, so it's great on the North Shore. That's kind of where we started in mm -hmm. uh, 2010. So um, I don't know. You can, you, you can actually use your credits anywhere. So it's nice that people could come to Assembly or they can come to mm -hmm. um, a North Shore location. What I want you to know is just like we're more than just a gym. I would say when you're saying you go to the sports club, you're kind of going independently. Correct. We try to foster that community feel. So oh, that's you're coming nice. to meet, like, meet friends, meet instructors. We take pride in getting to know each person who's coming into the studio. Mm -hmm. We kind of work. You get to see them through different milestones in their life. So when sure. they're getting ready for their wedding, when they're getting ready to have a baby, or maybe they just had a baby, um, we love to be with them and check in on how those things are, stages of their lives are going. Um, and it's really kind of for anybody. So I don't know, we're fun, energetic, and if you're looking to kind of break your routine and want to try something new, we have gentlemen who come to the classes we have there are men there Where are men there yes. are men <laughs> they are ladies there are men <laughs> <laughs> it's usually as a result of maybe a family member bringing them sure. a husband and they're always surprised they're like wait this one pound ball is this is kind of a joke right and then they get started and they're like oh my gosh i can't do this so it's definitely looks can be deceiving at first but 16 year olds to 75 year olds coming to class do people sweat when they do this I'd say everybody's different, but our goal is to get your heart rate up there a little bit. It's not okay. supposed to be just, you know, you can, it's kind of what you put into it, but you have opportunities to definitely work harder and build up that sweat. And how long are the classes? Are they an hour, 45 minutes? So they range from 45 minutes. We have some classes, but the average class, 55 minutes. Okay. That's what most of So I want to find out a little bit about you. Who is Rebecca? Where did you come from? Where did I come from? <laughs> Where did you come from? Were you born here in Somerville? So I was born in California. Oh, you're That's a Cal I'm from. I'm you're a California, California girl. girl. Gradually made my way to the East Coast. And what brought you to the East Coast from California? So I came to grad school um, okay. out here. And then I always had the intent of going back after working as a physical therapist for two years. And then I found the studio. and. It is truly the only reason I didn't go back to California. I just, wow. I fell in love with not just like the workout, the community. Um, I saw my body change, but I met so many friends that way that, I don't know, I just felt like it was irreplaceable. I couldn't go back home and find those friendships and the support system and just feel, I don't know, the confidence I gained after coming to class and feeling like I had people behind me. It was just something that I couldn't take back home. It's the reason no. I didn't leave. You said you saw your body change. How long did it take you? And I'm going to probably, and I shouldn't assume, were you just doing bar or were you doing other things as yeah. well? Yeah, so actually the studio, how I kind of got really deep into it, um, every once, probably three times a year, we offer fitness challenges and I had participated in one of them. Oh, so you're it, one of those. Yeah, and okay. it wasn't super intense. It wasn't just like, I don't know, just go to class. Mm -hmm. It was probably how I met a good majority of my friends through the studio. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a 60 day long challenge and that probably within the first 30 days, I saw a huge change just within those 30 days. And I was wow. going to class probably three times in the week. Um, and as a part of it, we were just encouraged to move our bodies. So get out there, walk, right. eat real foods, just be like real, just healthy. Yeah. And then each week, we were challenged to focus on something. Maybe it's releasing any like judgment you have or um, just kind of searching into your soul. Right. And I just felt myself evolve as a person, not just physical, but like a mental change that I didn't even know I had in me. So this is like a spiritual experience too. It was definitely just like a whole it's body deep. and mind experience. So body, mind, and soul yeah. is the bar nine experience. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Definitely. Wow, this is great. So, final words to get people to come to your to your uh, studio, Bar 9, to so, see you. <laughs> to see lead us. To see the lead instructor. Oh. And you don't you don't have a whip or anything. No, no. You're, you're, you're gentle. Definitely. I would say don't be intimidated to try something new. You're going to have like a great support system, um, meet a lot of friends. 
and just change your body and your mind in so many ways. Um, we like to have fun. You're always going to have loud music playing in the background, um, laughter. Some of us like to have, you know, like you'll have some jokes in class. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. That's good. It's, it's light. It's not all serious. Yeah, it's and light. Follow us what we do. We add our own personalities. So there's definitely somebody or an instructor for you who's definitely going to meet your kind of personality or what matches your needs. So Beautiful. Um, yeah, you'll have a great variety of classes to choose from, instructors, and people to meet. So I'm yeah. looking forward to taking I a class. I hope you definitely come and take class. I am going to come. After I do this little, you know, this little uh, stitch in, that I need for my, for my hernia, my little hernia, I'm going to be there. I'm going to see how long it's going to take because I was told years ago, go to a bar class. Your body will change. Yeah. And I went really because I tend to hold my weight in the bottom part of my body. And I wanted to like, I wanted to move. And I think that we can sculpt our body, right? At bar nine, isn't that the whole idea? Definitely, it's full body. You'll get like equal like oh, shoulders, good. triceps. Nice. Thighs. So, you know, you don't just focus on one muscle group in class that we, it's nice well-rounded and balanced. Which is what out. people do when they go to the gym. They focus on the same muscle group. So the muscle just says, okay, you're doing this again. It's happy that you're doing it, but there's more parts to the body Definitely. that need to move. And how many times do you go to the gym and you're like, oh, I'm bored. I just want to leave. Like, I don't get leave. bored because I listen to <laughs> audio books. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't get well, bored. Well, we're your personal like, audio book. You get the music and us kind of motivating you along the oh, way. Oh, to have someone <laughs> like you, it should be a lot of fun. So, Rebecca McCabe from Bar 9, thank you so much for joining us today. You are delightful. And I look forward to seeing you at Bar 9 at Assembly Row. Thank you. Thank you, folks, for joining us for another edition of Somerville Connects. And we'll see you, hope to see you all at Bar 9. Yes, meet you at the bar. <laughs> Bye-bye for now. Somerville Connects. Somerville Connects.